Hello guys, welcome to my channel. So whenever you launch any Xbox Game Pass game from Xbox app or Microsoft Store and if you are receiving this error which says this app can't open, the game can't open because it is offline, the storage device might be missing or disconnected. So if you are receiving this error message whenever you try to launch any Xbox Game Pass game on your Windows computer, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now, first of all, go to this link. The link is provided in the video description. Copy this link. Open this link in a browser. This will take you to Microsoft website. Now, check the Xbox status. Now, if all the services are up and running, that means there is no issues from Microsoft side. Now, if you see limited over here, or if you see major outage over here, that means something is wrong from Microsoft side. You have to wait for these issues to go away. So Microsoft will fix it from their end and you should not face any problem. So if this, this is showing limited or major outage, there is nothing wrong at your end. The issue with the Microsoft and it is showing up and running. If every services are up and running, that means nothing is wrong from Microsoft side. So in that case, please follow the rest of the steps shown in this video. So first step is to disconnect PS5 or PS4 controller. So if you have any PlayStation controller connected to the computer, disconnect it and then launch the game. That should fix the problem. Also disconnect all the external devices which is connected to the computer. So if you have these devices connected, disconnect it, unplug it and then launch the game. So disconnect all the external devices which you are not using, unplug it and then launch the game. That should fix the problem. Now the next step is to verify and repair the game. For this, go to Xbox app under install on the left hand side here you can find your game this is just an example so select the game which is giving you the error message and then click on this three dots over here or you can simply make a right click then click on manage now go to files and then click on verify and repair now click on yes now launch the game now the next step is to restart your computer so simply restart your computer sometimes a simple restart takes care of the problem. So make sure that you restart your computer and then launch the game. Next step is to create a desktop shortcut and then launch the game using the shortcut. Now for this, make a right click on the game, click on manage or you can click on this three dot and then click on manage. So whichever game is giving you the error message, this is just an example. Click on the three dot or simply make a right click and then click on manage. Now under general here you can see create desktop shortcut click on it. Now this will create the desktop shortcut. Now go to desktop, make a right click on the game. This is just an example. Make a right click and then click on run as administrator. So run the game as an administrator using the desktop shortcut. This has worked for many players so it might work for you. Now the next step is to repair or reset the game. So whichever game is giving you the error message, first of all, go to the start menu, then click on settings. Now go to apps and then apps and features. In the search box, you can find the game. So find the game in the list or you can simply write down the name of the game. This is just an example I'm showing for Minecraft launcher. So whichever game is giving you the error message, find that game in the list and then in Windows 10, simply click on it, then you will see the advanced option. In Windows 11, click on this three dot and then click on advanced option. Scroll down here, you can see the repair option, click on repair. And after the repair, launch the game. If that does not resolve the problem, then click on reset, reset. After the reset, launch the game. Now the next step is to delete Microsoft Store local cache file. For this, go to this location. So open File Explorer on your computer, then go to this PC, open C drive, now open users folder and then open your username folder. Now open app data folder. Now, if you don't see the app data over here, in that case, in Windows 10, somewhere over here, you will see view option. Click on view and then put a check on the box which says hidden items. In Windows 11, click on view over here, select show and then put a check on hidden items. And then you should be able to see app data over here. Open app data. Now open the local folder. Now open the packages folder. Now find this Microsoft Windows Store and this alphanumeric character. So find this folder. 
So scroll down. So over here you can see Microsoft Windows Store underscore some alphanumeric character. Open this folder and over here you will find local cache folder. Make a right click then click on delete and once this is deleted now restart your computer and now launch the game. Now the next step is to log in with same account on Xbox app and Microsoft Store. So open Microsoft Store on your computer. On the top right here you can see a profile icon. Click on it then click on sign up. Again click on sign in. Select the right account and then click on continue. Make sure that you select the account which has the Game Pass subscription. And then enter the PIN or password over here. Now once logged in, now go to Xbox app. And on the top left here you can see a profile name. Click on it and then click on sign out. Again click on the name. So click on sign in over here and select the same account which you have selected on Microsoft Store. So log in with same account on Microsoft Store and with same account on Xbox app and make sure Xbox Game Pass is active on that account. And then click on Let's Play and then launch the game. Also make sure date, time, time zone and reason is correct when you compare. So on the bottom right here you can see the date and time. Make a right click on date and time then click on adjust date and time. Now make sure set time automatically and set time zone automatically is on. If so, if this is off, turn it on. So make sure both are on over here. And make sure once you turn on this set time automatically and set time zone automatically, now click on sync now. Make sure that you click on sync now. Now once this is done, launch the game. Also make sure right the region is selected over here. So make sure the right country is selected and then launch the game. Now the next step is to install all the updates in Microsoft Store. So open Microsoft Store on your computer. On the bottom left here you can see library option. Click on library. Now once you click on library on the top right here you can see the option which says get updates. Now click on get updates and once all the updates are installed restart your computer and then launch the game. Now the next step is to update your windows to the latest version. Now this is important. Go to the start menu then click on settings. Now in windows 10 you will find update and security option. Click on update and, update and security in windows 11. Click on a windows update and then click on check for update. Once all the updates are installed over here. Now restart your computer and then launch the game. Next step is to run WS reset command. So type in WS reset in windows search box and then click on WS reset. Now this will open this black screen. Do not close this black screen. This black screen will go away and it will open Microsoft Store on your computer. Now over here you can see the black screen is gone and it's opening Microsoft Store. Now try to launch the game. Now the next step is to repair or reset Xbox app and store. So for this first of all type in store in Windows search box. Make a right click on Microsoft Store and then click on app settings. Now on this page scroll down here you can see the repair option click on repair. After the repair launch the game if that does not resolve the problem then perform reset click on reset reset after the reset launch the game. Do the same thing with Xbox apps. So type in Xbox app again make a right click then click on app settings. Now again on this page scroll down click on repair after the repair launch the game. If that does not resolve then click on reset reset. Now after the reset launch Xbox app or and then launch the game. Now the next step is to run this command. This command is provided in the video description. So copy this command type in PowerShell in Windows search box and then make a right click on Windows PowerShell and then click on run as administrator. Make sure that you're opening this file uh, opening PowerShell as an administrator. Click on yes to allow. Now paste the command over here. Hit the enter key. And let the process complete. Now this process will take some time. And during this process you will receive some errors in red color like this. So if you see any errors in red color just ignore it and let the process complete. Now once done close this window 
and now launch the game. Now the next step is to start all these services. So type in services in Windows search box and then click on services. Now find IP helper in the list, make a double click on IP helper, set it to automatic. Now click on apply, click on start if highlighted, then click on OK. Now find Xbox services. So at the end, scroll down, at the end you will find all the Xbox services. So make a double click on each Xbox services, set it to automatic, apply, click on start if highlighted, and then click on OK. Now again, set it to automatic, apply, click on start if highlighted, then click on OK. So make a double click on all the Xbox services, set it to automatic, apply, click on start, and then click on OK. So if you find more Xbox services, do the same thing. Set it to automatic, apply, click on start, and then click on OK. Now find Windows update in the list, make a double click on Windows update, set it to automatic, click on apply, click on start if highlighted, then click on OK. Now find gaming services. Now make sure gaming services are running over here. If not, make a right click, then you will see the start option, click on start. If this is already running like this, then make a right click, then click on stop. Again, make a right click, then click on stop. Now again, restart the service. Make a right click, then click on start or restart. Again, click on start or restart. Now find Microsoft Store install service. Make a double click, set it to automatic. Click on apply, click on start if highlighted, then click on OK. Now try to launch the game. Next step is to uninstall and reinstall gaming services. Now for this, copy this command. This command is provided in the video description. Now type in PowerShell in Windows search box. Make a right click on Windows PowerShell, then click on Run as Administrator. Click on Yes to allow. Now paste the command over here. Hit the Enter key. Now this will uninstall gaming services. Now after this, on the same window, copy this command. Paste it over here. Hit the Enter key. Now this will open Microsoft Store on your computer. And then you will see the install option to install gaming services. So click on install. Click on yes to allow. Now let the download complete. Now once the download is complete, now you can launch the game. So after the installation, launch the game. Now the next step is to install Xbox Identity Provider. So copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. And click on get in store app. Now this will prompt you to open Microsoft store. So click on open Microsoft store. And if Xbox identity provider is not installed, if this is not installed, over here you will see the install button. If you don't see the install button, that means this is already installed. So if you see the install option, click on install. If you don't see it, just ignore it. Now the next step is to uninstall and reinstall the game. So for this, go to the start menu, click on settings, apps, apps and features. Now find the game in the list. So whichever game is giving you the error message or whichever game is not running, find that game. This is just an example. You select your game and then click on this three dot and then click on uninstall in Windows 10. Simply click on it, then you will see the uninstall option. Now after the uninstall, restart your computer. And after the system restart, open Xbox app and then reinstall the game and then check. Now the next step is to update Windows using Media Creation Tool. If you have Windows 10, copy this link. If you have Windows 11, copy this link. Windows 10 users, go to this website. Here you can see Media Creation Tool. Click on Download Tool now and then run this exe file then you will see the screen click on accept by default upgrade this pc now would be selected click on next it will start downloading windows 10 along with the latest update now this process will take some time now once the download is complete before the installation you will see the screen which says ready to install and by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked when this is checked, you will not lose any data on the computer. So click on install. And once the installation is complete, log into your computer. Now for Windows 11 users, go to this website. Here also you will find media creation tool. Click on download now. And then run this exe file. 
click on yes to allow now this will load windows 11 media creation tool now click on accept by default windows 11 would be selected click on next select iso file then click on next you can save the location you can set the location as desktop and then click on save over here now once the download is complete click on finish and then go to desktop find windows iso file make a double click on windows iso file then run the setup file make a double click on setup file click on yes to allow this will load windows 11 now and here you can see install windows 11 click on next it will check for update then click on accept again it will check for update now before the installation you will see the screen which says ready to install and by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer click on install after the installation log into your computer so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix this error so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel